Today we're going to do section 9.2, series and convergence. Question, what is an infinite series? An infinite series is an expression in the form a1 plus a2 plus a3 all the way to an, or the sum of a of k from k equals 1 to infinity. The numbers a1, a2, all the way through are the terms of the series, and an is the nth term. Difference between a series and a sequence. Look at the sequence. Um, an equals 1 over 2 to the n. The first term is 1 half, the second term is 1 fourth, the third term is 1 eighth. And that continues on. A sequence is a discrete function defined on the set of natural numbers. The limit of the sequence corresponds to the right end behavior of the function. Think in statistics, um, the binomial PDF. The series is the nth partial sum of the sum. The nth partial sum of a series can be thought as the right Riemann sum of the interval 0 to n, where the width of the rectangles is always 1. The limit of an infinite series corresponds to the end behavior of the accumulated accumulator function. Think in statistics um, binomial CDF. Definition of convergent and divergent series. For the infinite series, um, a sub n from n equals 1 to infinity, the nth partial sum is given by the sum of all the terms, a1 all the way to an. If the sequence of the partial sums, s of n converges to s, then the series converges. The limit s is called the sum of the series. If s of n diverges, then the series diverges. Theorem 9.7, properties of infinite series. If I have the sum of a of n equals a and the sum of my series bn equals b and c is a real number, then the following series converge to the indicated sums. So when my series is multiplied by c, it converges to c times a. When my sums, my series are added together, it would equal a plus b. And when they're subtracted, it would equal a minus b. Theorem 9.8, limit of nth term of a convergent series. If I have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a n converges, then the limit as n approaches infinity of a n is 0. Note, the converse is not generally true, so don't use this as your reasoning for why a series converges. Example one, convergent and divergent series. Determine which of the following series converge. So I have the series from n equals one to infinity of two to the n. So we need to find the limit as this e um, approaches infinity. So the limit as n approaches infinity of two to the n equals infinity. So the series diverges. The sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n factorial over 2n factorial plus 1. We need to find this limit. Limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial over 2n factorial plus 1 would equal 1 half. So the series diverges.
And the last one, the summation of one over n from n equals one to infinity. So we need to find this limit again. And that equals zero. So the series might converge. Theorem 9.9, .9, the nth term test for divergence. So this is your first test that you will need to know. If the limit as n approaches infinity of my series does not equal zero, then the series diverges. Question, when does a geometric series converge? So our geometric series converges for when r is between zero and one. And when does an arithmetic series converge? Almost never. A geometric series with ratio r diverges if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1. If uh, the absolute value of r is between 0 and 1, then the series converges to the sum a, um, a over 1 minus r. So determine if each of the following series converges or diverges. So here, this would be the same as if I had the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the power of n. So here, my r equals 1 half. That is between 0 and 1, so the series converges. And it converges to, using our formula, 1 half all over 1 minus 1 half, which equals 1. For the second one, the sum of negative 1 to the n from n equals 1 to infinity. Here, my r equals negative 1, so the series diverges. because my common ratio is not between zero and one when I take the absolute value of that. Quick quiz for section 9.2. Question, to which of the following numbers does the series converge? Hopefully you are able to recognize this that it is geometric and the series converges to three halves.